The Russell's viper, also known by its scientific name, Daboya russeli, is one of the most well-known and dangerous venomous snakes in Asia. It belongs to the family Viperidae and is found across a wide range of habitats throughout the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia and parts of China. Russell's viper is notorious for its potent venom, its distinctive appearance and its relatively aggressive nature when threatened. Size Adult Russell's vipers typically measure between 3 to 5 feet or about 1 to 1 and a half meters, though some individuals can grow as long as 6 feet which is roughly 1.8 meters. Body shape they have a stocky, heavy build and a large triangular head which is typical of pit vipers. Their bodies are robust and are equipped with large fangs to inject venom, coloration and pattern. Russell's vipers are usually light brown, yellowish or grey with darker, angular or diamond-shaped markings running along their backs. These markings help them blend into their natural environment, especially in dry, leaf-littered areas. The pattern and coloration can vary among individuals but typically feature a series of dark, irregular spots with light borders, eyes. Their eyes are small with vertical elliptical pupils, typical of venomous pit vipers. This helps them regulate light exposure in their natural habitats. Geographic range Russell's viper is primarily found in the Indian subcontinent, including India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal and parts of Myanmar. It also occurs in parts of Southeast Asia, including Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam, and is found in certain areas of southern China. Habitat preferences. This species is adaptable and can be found in a variety of environments, including forests, grasslands, agricultural fields, and scrublands. It prefers dry and arid regions, often inhabiting areas near human settlements, which increases the likelihood of human encounters. Russell's vipers are commonly found in areas with plenty of cover, such as tall grasses, undergrowth and rocky terrain. Activity pattern. Russell's vipers are generally nocturnal, particularly during the warmer months, which helps them avoid the heat of the day. During the cooler months, they may also be active during the day. Temperament, though they are not usually aggressive by nature, Russell's vipers can become quite defensive if they feel threatened. They may hiss loudly and even strike if provoked. Due to their excellent camouflage, encounters with humans often happen unexpectedly. Movement. This species is terrestrial, spending most of its time on the ground. However, they are excellent climbers when necessary, especially in areas with abundant cover like shrubs or trees. Defense mechanisms. When threatened, a Russell's viper may flatten its body, hiss loudly and raise its head in an alert posture. They have been known to strike quickly, especially when cornered. Russell's vipers are carnivorous and primarily eat small mammals, amphibians, lizards, birds and sometimes eggs. They are ambush predators, waiting for prey to come close before striking. Their diet is typically composed of small rodents like rats and squirrels. Like other pit vipers, Russell's viper uses its heat-sensing pits, located between the eyes and nostrils, to detect warm-blooded prey. This adaptation allows the snake to hunt in low-light conditions, relying on thermal signatures to locate its target. The venom of the Russell's viper is highly potent, composed of a mix of proteolytic enzymes, neurotoxins and hemotoxins. These components work together to disrupt blood clotting, damage tissues and attack the circulatory system. The venom is primarily hemotoxic causing widespread bleeding, tissue damage and organ failure. The symptoms of a bite from a Russell's viper can be severe and include immediate pain and swelling at the site of the bite, bleeding, internal and external, bruising and necrosis, nausea, vomiting, dizziness and fainting, difficulty breathing due to paralysis of respiratory muscles and shock, which can lead to death if not treated quickly. While not all bites result in fatalities, Russell's viper venom can be lethal if left untreated. The chances of survival depend on factors like the amount of venom injected, the location of the bite, and how quickly the victim receives medical attention. The use of antivenom has significantly reduced mortality rates. Russell's vipers usually mate during the cooler months of the year, typically in the spring. 
This species is ovoviviparous, meaning that the female gives birth to live young instead of laying eggs. After mating, the female carries the fertilized eggs inside her body until they hatch. The gestation period lasts about three to four months. A typical litter contains between 10 and 20 babies, but larger litters are possible. Baby Russell's vipers are born fully developed and are venomous from birth. They are independent and begin hunting small prey soon after birth. The Russell's viper is currently not considered to be endangered, but faces threats from habitat loss due to agricultural expansion, urbanization, and human wildlife conflict. In some areas, they are killed on sight due to fear of their venomous bite. Russell's vipers are not under significant conservation programs, but efforts to educate local populations on snake safety and to promote the preservation of natural habitats can help reduce the negative impact on the species. The Russell's viper is responsible for a significant number of snake bite incidents in areas where it is common, particularly in rural regions of India and Southeast Asia. The snake's proximity to human populations and its defensive nature increase the likelihood of encounters, particularly during the monsoon season. The venom of Russell's viper is one of the major causes of venomous snake bites in its range. Hospitals in affected areas are well equipped with antivenom to treat bites, but delays in receiving medical care can lead to serious complications or death. Educating local populations about avoiding snake bites, wearing boots and using caution in snake-prone areas is important in reducing risk. Proper medical treatment and access to antivenom are crucial for survival. Russell's viper is sometimes mistaken for non-venomous snakes in the same region due to their similar coloration and patterning. However, unlike non-venomous snakes, Russell's viper has a distinctive triangular head, a robust body, and vertically elliptical